Sup? What's up? Hello everybody and welcome back to Debunking the Difficulty. Today we're taking on a legendary title. Now, this is a more popular one. This is the original Mega Man game for the NES. Now, this game is often referred to as one of the hardest Mega Man games. I don't know if it's the hardest, especially since later titles uh, introduced hard modes and stuff. Um, but this is up there. It's one of those games that a lot of people are like, Ugh! Mega Man 1. And that's for good reason. There's a lot of stuff about this game that is pretty rude and makes it difficult. However, we are here to break this game down, figure out how we can make it a little bit easier. And once again, this isn't about making the game trivial, but it is about discovering that maybe this game isn't so bad. So I think everybody knows one of the most important things about Mega Man games is you gotta know a good order for the bosses because various bosses are weak to other bosses. So if you go in the right order, you can make things a lot easier on yourself. I'm actually gonna start with Gutsman, which isn't that weird. You know, I never used to start with Gutsman. I think I used to start with either Bombman or Cutman back in the day. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna give Gutsman a shot first. Now, this is actually one of the harder stages, I feel like, so it's good that we're gonna knock it out first. And these guys in the beginning are pretty annoying, but you can get through them just by shooting and doing whatever. Now, you're probably gonna have to practice this part. I'm not gonna lie. So, let me show you what's going on here. You're on these moving platforms, and this is a hell of a way to start. If you're not comfortable with the platforming and stuff, you're probably gonna die here a few times. One thing I wanna tell you about this part is see how on the left side, how the... That little piece on the left, as soon as it touches the gap, that's when it drops. So, so that's what you want to be looking at to time your jumps. It's pretty easy, and you can just jump on this one forever just to practice until you're comfortable. The bottom one is actually kind of tough. So once you're ready to go, you feel comfortable, we're going to jump down to the next one. So here we go. We're going to jump down. Boom. Boom. Once again, looking at the left for timing our jumps. And there we go. One of the nice things about Mega Man 1, actually Mega Man games in general, is they typically have pretty generous health bars, and I feel like Mega Man 1 is no exception for the most part. Um, you get your health back a lot, so see I'm back at full health. Um, you'll find that like it's nice as opposed to games like you know Castlevania that can kill you in just a few hits. Uh, a lot of different games that can kill you really fast. Mega Man at least is pretty generous when it comes to how many hits you can take. So with these guys, you're probably going to get hit by those guys, but they don't really deal that much damage. So just plow through those guys. Um, right here, we're just going to jump down this side. You can hold right here, and maybe you'll get a health. I find that it's kind of jank. Sometimes he doesn't get in there. Like right there, I held left, and he didn't go in. So we're going to drop down here, and believe it or not, the level's like already over, pretty much, which is kind of nuts. Um, you just go underneath that guy. Those guys are super annoying, and there's a ton of them in this game. Um, we'll have better ways to deal with them later. But for now, you just want to go underneath them. One of the things you need to know about them is their jumping is random. Walking up to the boss, you just run and shoot. There's really nothing, nothing difficult about this. Also, something about Mega Man 1 that sucks is it has slippery garbage physics. Look at this. When I run and stop, he slides. Is he is he on ice? Like, I don't understand this. Why is he... What What is... What the hell? All right, so we're on Guts Man, and he's actually pretty damn easy. If you have full health, there's really no reason you should lose to Guts Man. Um, the trick to Guts Man is that you want to jump as soon as he's about to land. The timing is not very forgiving, let me just tell you. Like, you have to jump right before he lands, otherwise you'll still get caught in his explosion. Dodging his move is actually pretty easy, too. So you just stay up here, you get good at the jumps. Dodges move. He takes a lot of damage from the P Buster Cannon, whatever it's called, your basic attack. But this guy's really not that hard. You can get, you can practice if you want and just keep jumping. Don't even kill him. Um, and a nice thing about Mega Man, just like Contra, actually, is that there's no timer, so there's no rush at all on killing these bosses or really doing anything. Boom! One boss down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Cut Man. From guts to cut, and we're gonna we're gonna show this dude what's up. Now, honestly, this stage is I think if if I recall, it's one of the easier stages. 
Oh, something else I want to point out is one of the things that really sucks about this game is that there's a score in this game. I don't know why there's a score. Like, nobody cares about score. And, like, I wouldn't care either, but the problem is that enemies drop score. So what does that mean? That means there's less of a chance they're going to drop a health drop or a weapon refill or whatever. They're just going to drop freaking score, which is completely useless. So for this stage, really, there's... Man, this stage is pretty easy. I'll let you know if there's anything that really needs to be talked about. You can take hits from these guys and it doesn't deal very much damage. Really, you just kind of take your time, shoot that dude, play it safe. You should be able to get through this no problem at all. Watch out for the Pac-Mans, keep on going, little freaking dudes jumping everywhere. Get these freaking idiots out of here, dropping all sorts of health though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you, you run into these guys, which are, these guys are so easy to deal with too. They're so slow and easy to dodge. And if you're patient, you just wait for openings and you blast through, should be pretty simple. Bam, bam, watch out, here he comes, watch out, oh, here we go, oh yeah, oh, here we go, yeah. I think there might be a hard part in this stage. Why do I feel like there's a hard part? Maybe towards the end? I can't remember. There's gotta be something coming up. I don't see anything yet, though. Um, the, oh, these guys are so annoying, I hate these guys. I don't think they're as bad in this level as they are in, in other levels, though. But those guys are the worst, we'll be seeing them later, too, ow. See, they're, they're so hard to dodge, bro. All right, so we're at the bottom. We got to deal with this guy. Um, I'm going to do this and just go underneath him. Easy peasy. In the hallway leading up to the boss, you just run through and, like, you know, get shot in the face. Pretty cool. Got some health, so that's nice, too. We're going into the boss here, and I think this is, like, one of the easiest bosses straight up. This boss is easy, I think, with the P-Buster, too, but we have the Guts move, so I'm just gonna come down here and bam, bam. Two hits. See you later, idiot. All right, two down. Next up, we're gonna go to Electric Man, which I remember this guy being really hard when I was younger, but he ain't so bad. So actually, for this course, you're gonna use your newly acquired Cut move to kill these guys, because usually they're really annoying, but with the Cut, you just kill them and then... There's nothing to worry about, except your own terrible platforming skills. I could have sworn you could grab power-ups with the cut, but you can't. I thought you could. I must be thinking of a different game. Boom! Oh, see, if you're too slow, that's what happens. You get bodied. You have to be really fast. Really fast, and you just keep going up. But once again, these guys don't really deal that much damage, so... You'll find that a lot of times in this game, the enemies don't deal that much damage. There are some exceptions, of course. But usually you can, like, heal up. And you'll be fine. So this part's annoying, but all you have to do is jump up there, jump up here, boom, you're done. We'll have much harder <laughs> invisible blocks sections in the future. Except we're gonna cheese them, so not really. Do not go for that health, it is a trap. Jumping into a two-space gap <laughs> is a death sentence, do not do it. It is not worth it. For this section, just go up the right side. You can actually, so one thing I do wanna point out is you can farm here. If you need health or weapon upgrade, you can stay there and keep shooting those dudes. Um, coming through this section, you just wanna be patient. This actually, this, this reminds me of the uh, water level in, in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's all very simple, just go slow. All right, this is an important moment, everybody. This is the best item in the game right here, all right? And you need your guts to get it, so that's why we gotta do Guts Man first. If you watch speedruns, there's actually a glitch where you can get that without Guts Man. I don't know how to do it, and I don't think it's very accessible, so we're not gonna worry about that. Anyways, you need to master this move. This is called, I think, the Magnet Beam. I had to look it up. But it lets you build platforms you can walk on. This is the most vital item in the game. Learn how to use it. I'll show you more tips and tricks along the way, but trust me, this is so important. Finishing up the level's pretty easy. I go up the right side, just... There's really nothing to worry about here. It's pretty simple. It's really pretty simple. For this part here, you actually want to use your newfound ability just to jump up here. That guy, get that freaking guy off me. Um, and then I think, is there a big guy here? No, there's not. I don't even know how much is left, to be honest. 
some tricky platforming here, but I'm sure you can get through it. I believe in you. All right, so I think we're coming up on the end here, and for the, there's a big guy guarding, but I think you just hold right, if I recall. Nope, okay, it's random. So, those guys are random. Sometimes they jump big, sometimes they don't. So you're gonna, you're gonna approach them hoping they do a big jump and that you walk under them. But if they don't, sucks to be you. Now coming up to Electric Man, it definitely helps to have some additional HP because there's a very good chance he's gonna hit you. And in my current health, I think he may one-shot me. But if you die to him, it's okay because hopefully it's like your first death and you can just respawn with full health and you should be able to beat him easily at full health. All right, so for Electric Man, I'm gonna show y'all what to do. What you wanna do is shoot right away. Hit him, jump up here, dodge, shoot, dodge. This is really bad. He got me, that's okay. Usually the cuts don't miss that much, but you know, doesn't always go your way. All right, so now we're at full health. Um, I anticipate it'll be much better this time, so you're gonna hit him, dodge, hit him, got hit, that's okay. Got hit twice. He actually kills you in three hits. So I didn't do a very good job on him. It's actually not that hard if you're patient to just shoot a cut, jump over his move, shoot a cut, jump over his move. But at full health, you should be able to even tank his hits and still kill him. All right, next up, we're moving on to the Iceman, the Eskimo brother. Hmm. All right, so in this one, use your Electric Beam to kill everything. It melts everything. Electric Beam is a really good move that you'll want to use a lot. Just for like regular enemies. Like these guys are a nightmare with the P Buster. But with the electric beam, they just melt instantly. These guys, you can kill them instantly. Like all these guys, you're just gonna kill. Easy peasy. Bam. Lemon squeezy. See, it's nice when they drop uh, weapon restoration, but you see how often these guys drop score? Absolutely disgusting. Why would they put a score in this game? All right, so coming down here is where your, your magnet beam training is gonna come into play here, all right? This is what you were training for, all right? So you just do, you just throw down the magnet beam, throw down the magnet beam, throw down the magnet beam, you just skip that whole section. This is one of the most annoying sections in the game, but if you use the magnet beam, it's easy. It's super easy. All right, so this is one of the hardest sections in the game here. I'm not kidding. So this is like a big open area. It, this. This section is complete garbage if you're gonna do it the normal way. So what you wanna do is use the magnet beam, but you hold B for a very long time because it makes the beam super long. See that? You just skip the whole section. Ow. So watch out for these guys because they will hit you and knock you to your death. But if you use the magnet beam, super easy. Get that one up or not. <laughs> Told you it was jank. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that know this game better than I do. This is another game like Contra where I, um, you know, I don't know this game that well. Before doing this video, I did a little bit of research, just brushed up on some stuff, you know, made sure I knew basically what was going on. But that's kind of my point is that it's not that hard to learn how to conquer this game. All right, now we're going to use the pause glitch for the first time. So in this game, you pause with select. There's a very useful exploit in this game that I think most of you probably know about. We're gonna use a lot, and it's just beautiful. So shoot an electric beam at this guy. Pause, unpause, pause, unpause, unpause. I only got one hit, that sucks, shoot again. So what happens right there is you hit him repeatedly by pausing and unpausing. It's absolutely beautiful and i don't know how the devs didn't or the testers like nobody realized you could do that it seems kind of weird that nobody caught that next up we're going to the fireman all right so in this map um you're just gonna kill stuff with electric again it's super useful for murdering all these guys now i just kind of go through here real fast you can actually freeze those fire towers if you want um i don't think i'll do that at all you can if you'd like if it helps you. For me, I don't really need to do that. Um, we'll we'll kind of see as I go through here, because I don't really remember how I do everything, but we'll find out. Like, there's fire right here, which you could freeze. For me, I'm just going to do the, the magnet beam and go up here. Um, use my magnet beam to get over all this stuff. 
I told you guys the magnet beam was super OP this part. Okay, I got bodied, so that's not good. Get a little health back. Um, got some fire here. Gonna go run through here. Gonna go down here. Everything's pretty chill. Drop down here. Okay, th this part's getting a little bit crazier. Once again, you could freeze those if you want. I'm personally not going to. Just gonna keep on going through here. Watch out for the fire up top. Um, it is dangerous if you get hit. You can get knocked off. I was actually very strategic about how I got hit right there. I actually used it to my advantage. And one thing I haven't mentioned with this game is with the invincibility frames, you can do some cool stuff, like get hit on purpose and then you can run through certain sections. It can be very advantageous to master the art of the invincibility frame abuse. Electric is your best friend. It kills everything. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. Okay, watch out for the fire. Is there anything left? Just this stuff? Okay, I think we're at the boss. We're coming up on the boss here. Once again, just electric your way through this hallway and we'll be fighting the boss in no time. This boss is a little harder than Iceman, if I remember correctly. Recommend a full health bar. Mine's not full, we'll see how it goes. This game does not have E-Tanks, like future Mega Mans which is a reason that a lot of people think it's a lot harder. So you're gonna shoot your ice. You're gonna pause buffer. So you don't hit him quite as much as you did Iceman with the electric abuse. Um, you can hit him maybe like three times per pause buffer thing. But he's still pretty easy. You know, he's still pretty easy. Shouldn't be a problem. Some people may be like, oh, you're a cheater. Beat the game without cheating. But like, dude, a lot of these old school games have so many exploits and tricks that you can do. And I say use them all to your advantage. These games were built to be cheap and difficult, so it's only fair that we be cheap in return. All right, we're moving on to the last robot master, the Bomb Man. This part here, just hug the wall and then go. You won't take any damage. It kind of seems like it's hard if you're doing it for the first time. You don't know this trick, but completely free. I think the rest of the level is like super straightforward. Like same enemies you've seen up to this point. Very reminiscent of Cutman stage, actually. Like very reminiscent. Same, like same freaking backgrounds and everything too. When does he shoot? I don't really know what triggers him to shoot, but you have to wait for him to let his guard down. Yeah, there might be better items to use on him than electric, but I find that electric is pretty good. Generally, electric is really OP. Like, for this whole part, I'm killing these dudes with electric. Got these crazy bombs, those things on the ground. You can murder them with electric, just dodge the bullet bills. Oh, okay, that, like, honestly, I didn't get hit there, but it's so easy to get hit into the spikes and die. I mean, oh, did I ever mention this game has unlimited continues? That's one of the things that makes it nice compared to other uh, retro game, like hard retro games, TMNT and stuff like that, Battletoads. That is a huge differentiator for sure. This game, it doesn't matter how many times you die, you can try again. So there's really no excuse that you can't learn everything and beat this game. So for the descent into Bomb Man, you just hold right. And nothing will hit you. Once again, I don't know if that was an oversight or what, but works for me, man. So Bomb Man, you can pause buffer kill this guy, but I'm not gonna bother, because I think Bomb Man's easy. And it's a fun fight, too. Um, honestly, a lot of the fights can be fun if you know how to do them. And if you know how to do them, like do them the normal way, that's cool. You don't have to pause buffer if you don't want to. Honestly, I would love to do like a buster only run of this game at some point. Maybe I'll try that in the future. But for Bomb Man, he's super easy. Did not even touch me. Pretty fun boss. Just like that, we're already moving into Wily's Fortress. So we're gonna hop in here and stuff is about to get pretty crazy. All right, you'll have to be a lot more careful in these stages. So for these big guys, you wanna freeze them with ice and then go underneath them, ideally when they're on a big jump. But sometimes they're stubborn and they don't do big jumps. You can still get under them on a small jump, you just need to make sure you freeze them at the top height of the small jump. So they were very stubborn. See, that time I got hit. They deal a ton of damage, so try not to get hit right there. 
It's really up to you how you handle these sections. These jumps are kind of tight. You can freeze these if you want to. Personally, I'm not going to bother. But if you, if you prefer to freeze those and then use them to walk over, you can do that too. Through all these sections, you can use your uh, magnet beam if you want, just to make it a little bit safer. Once again, totally up to you, not mandatory at all. Once you get up here, I think you want to bust out the electric, probably. Uh, or not, I don't remember. We're just kind of, we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants here at this point. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know. See, for this part, this part can be a little scary, but there's a trick here too. Remember, there's always a trick. There's always something you can do. So spawn the bullet up top like that, then go. Whoa, he despawned. I spawned him too high. So, still worked, still worked. All right, here's another really annoying section, but you already practiced this. It's exactly the same as the other one. Just use the long beams to get across it. Don't even bother with standing on those things. I don't know what the devs were thinking, like they thought someone was going to do that. Not a chance. Now this section can be annoying if you run out of magnet beam. I actually think you can't get through there if you run out of magnet beam, so be smart. Don't fuck around. Dude, did you guys see that? My game just froze. It's all good. I'm back. It's fine. I don't know why that happens. For some reason, the, my Mega Man games will randomly crash. Anyways, I was saying you got to be smart conserving your magnet power because if you run out here, you're going to be in big trouble. So we are here at the famous Yellow Devil. The famous Yellow Devil fight. You know, hardest fight in the world. You know, oh god. Okay, so he comes flying in. You need to try and dodge his moves. You'll probably get hit a couple times. Should be fine as long as you have some health. So you're gonna shoot. Wow, I screwed that up. You can kill him in one cycle. If you don't suck like me. Ow, I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna die. Don't die. Yeah, we got him. We got him. So when you're doing the pause buffer glitch, you'll uh, once you start to practice it, you'll you'll learn there's a feel for it. Doing it really, 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 really fast can it's a little sketch. There's actually like kind of a rhythm where it's like do 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 that works a little bit better. Um, you just have to play around with it and see what works best for you. All right, coming into Wily 2, this one I think my only advice for this one is just to play it safe. I'm using the wrong freaking weapon. I recommend the electric for sure. The electric is one of the best. For this one, you want to go slow and deal with these dudes. Don't go YOLO jumping without looking first. Because these guys can knock you off the arena pretty easily. I hate these freaking guys. So you're going to have to refight some of the robot masters. The first one is Cutman. And normally use Guts against Cutsman, but um, there's no gut blocks in here. So I'm just going to use the P Buster. Whatever. He's actually kind of fun to fight. Kind of getting my butt kicked a little bit here. Yeah, he's kind of fun to fight without the guts. Dude, he hit me after he died, bro. I lost all my HP, man. Uh, anyways, we keep going here. Just use the electric. Should make this... This part's not too hard, really. You can kill these guys super easy with the electric move. So next up is Electric Man, which is super dangerous. Just hit him. He dies in three hits. You're going to probably have to tank at least one shot, which should be fine as long as you had a little bit of HP going into it. I hate this freaking part. It's so hard to dodge all that crap, but it doesn't deal that much damage. I'm about to be dead here. I'm, I might have to take a D here coming up soon. Oh, you can grab a 1-up here, which you may desperately need. Um, I highly recommend grabbing it. Coming down here, it's pretty simple. Just because of your electric shot, you can kill dudes who are underneath you. You can kill all these guys. It's really, really kind of trivializes the section. There's something right there. You can kill all those guys, which is nice. If you get lucky, they drop a lot, a lot of health, but I have not gotten super lucky yet. <laughs> Keep getting score and shit. All this freaking score. All right, so this boss here sucks. I'm at low HP. I'm probably going to die, so it's a good thing I got the one up. We're going to try and pause buffer kill this guy with the fire. I would prefer to have a little more HP, but we'll see how it goes. This guy kind of mimics your attacks, and I think there are ways to, to fight him, and it's cool and fun. 
but I don't know those ways. So we're just gonna try to fire, pause buffer this guy. Oh, he got me at one HP left, dude. That was so epic. All right, so whatever, I'm at full HP here. That's definitely why I want to get that one up. He should be no problem if you're going in at full health. The only thing you need to worry about is that if you run out of fire, that could be a problem. But I didn't even use half my fire on that last fight. You can try fighting him the normal way. I don't really know how he works. Like sometimes he walks towards you, sometimes he doesn't. It's kind of freaking weird, if I'm being honest. I just got three, four. I just got like four hits off on him with the pause buffer. That's probably the hardest boss in the game, I would say. Highly recommend that pause buff strat. Works like a charm. Moving on to Wily 3. Um, bust out the electric. So they're not really restoring your stuff in between levels, which kind of sucks. You know, it'd be nice to get your weapon power back so we don't run out. There's gonna be a farm spot coming up, I think. I don't know if I'll use it. I don't know if I actually need it, but through all this stuff, it's not too bad. You can really just run through it and get hit in the face. Shouldn't be a problem. Through this section is like an auto scroll uh, section where it moves you on its own. So for the first part, you can just run and keep shooting. You're hoping for good drops here, like get your health back and stuff. If you see a weapon drop, you can also switch if you need to, to collect some of your weapon shit. Once the bombs start coming, you wanna slow down. So stop pushing right. No D pad here. No D at all. Deprivation strats right here. For some reason, there's no more bullets coming. I don't know why, I think we broke it. There's supposed to be bullets, so you just keep jumping and shooting in the middle. Now, for some reason, the bullets stopped spawning. I think it glitched out. All right, for this boss, you're gonna use Guts. Bam. Poop on his face. Poop on his face. Poop on his face. Poop on his face. Now, once you're done pooping on his face, you're gonna need to use the Pea Buster. I just stand in the left corner here. Okay? This is what I do, and you just spam like crazy. He's gonna hit you a couple times, but it's no big deal. Super easy. All right, and just like that, we're moving on to Wily 4, the final freaking stage, yo. Wow, I almost fell and died right there. So we'll see kind of what happens here. I'm trying to remember how this works. Keep on plowing through, use your electric beam to get through here. It's pretty simple. Really nothing that you haven't seen before. Um, you might get hit a couple times, but Thanks to the generosity of your health bar and Mega Man, it's not really a problem. Okay, now this section coming up here, there's a moving platform. Uh, I really don't care about that, so we're just gonna use our magnet thing. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use this here. So this part is crucial right here. Very, very important. So you wanna drop down on this thing? Oh my God. <laughs> so you wanna drop down on this thing. See this weird like ninja star looking thing? You want that, that gives you all your stuff back. You can get the one up too if you want. All your stuff is restored, all your weapon power, all your HP. You are golden, you are definitely gonna want that and it's pretty easy to get. All right, so we're gonna have to finish up the refights here. I don't really think I need to tell you anything about these because I already showed you how to beat these bosses. You're gonna do the exact same thing that you did before for these bosses. Um, you will wanna be careful not to take too much damage, obviously, because if you get hit a lot, um, you might end up dying. So try to be smart, try to be cool. I'm fighting this guy with my pee buster because I'm crazy. I don't know why I should use my fire, <laughs> but it's all good. Just pause buffer murdered Iceman or Fireman. That was beautiful. We got Iceman here. We're gonna electrify this dude. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Super dead, that's cool. And then the final one is Gutsman. This guy, you already, you've already mastered how to beat Gutsman. So I don't have to teach you how to do this. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Easy as cake. Okay, when he gets in your face, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. 
Holy crap, dude. My god. What the hell? <laughs> that was that was insane. I think that's it. I think I'm at the final boss. I'm pretty sure. Am I at the final boss? I think so. Um, I don't need to refill anything. I'm pretty good here. Yeah, we're at the final boss. So, final boss. Um, I might die, but it's okay. We got extra one up from below. So I'm gonna shoot this. Instant kill, pause buffer kill on that thing. Switching to electric, because honestly, I don't know the best move for Wily's second form. The electric seems like it kind of works pretty well. Ow. He shoots these weird balls of light. You should try to dodge him, obviously, if you can. I'm getting bodied here, so we might, we might die. We'll see. And just like that, you just beat Mega Man. Congratulations. All right. So overall, like, this game is very short. It is forgiving with the unlimited continues. Um, the fact that you can take a lot of damage. Using boss weaknesses, like knowing what to use and when. Uh, abusing the magnet beam to skip all those ridiculous platforming se sections. And of course, using the pause buffer strat to completely obliterate some of these bosses. Even if you don't use the pause buffer glitch, um, you can use everything else and just learn how to beat those bosses that I used it on. Honestly, the robot masters aren't really that hard. You just use their weaknesses. The pause buffering just makes it like so much easier. You can beat those guys without pause buffering. The yellow devil is one of the probably harder bosses along with the clone Mega Man. Um, but you can learn to beat those bosses too if you really want to. If like for some reason you, you just don't want to use the pause buffer glitch. You can definitely learn, learn those fights. I don't think Wily is that bad either. So, even without the pause buffer glitch, um, you should be able to beat this game without, you know, losing your mind. I've been really having a fun time with this series. I love going through these old games and just breaking them down, how to dominate them, how to beat them, how to make them easier. Um, a lot of these games are very crazy hard, and even with my, my suggestions and strategies, they can still be hard, but they're just a lot more approachable. Like I said, debunking the difficulty isn't about giving you a free win, it's about giving you the tools you need to win. Hope you all enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, share it with a friend, and fourth, leave a comment below letting me know what game you would like to see next in this series. I'm out. Peace.